Welcome back to Kasuma Labs. Today, we're going to continue on with a great topic, the humane AI pen. Yeah, you remember this bad boy that we did a, a lot of, we talked about this in the past videos, went into it into depth. We show you some things you could do. But this pen right here is basically, just in case you look at my other videos, it's an AI pen, artificial intelligence. It can do pretty much ask it anything you want to ask it, it's there for you. But in addition to that, other than something like the Rabbit R1, which is really kind of corny in a sense, this can make phone calls. It can do everything your normal cellular phone can do. I can make phone calls. I can receive email. I can do messaging. You name it. I can do all that. But in addition, it's small, it's compatible, and it's with me wherever I go, right? I don't have to whip it out of my pocket. None of that nonsense, right? Uh, I look at my past video. I go more into depth on how it works, the service, the course. So you can check that out. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. This is Consumer Lab. Like we said here at Consumer Lab, we make, we build, and we sell. So with that being said, we're going to hook up today. We're going to connect a Bluetooth, and we're going to share how to do that. Now, this is just a, a Bluetooth I bought off Amazon. I got, I mean, I looked at it. got great reviews. I think four point something, four stars, something like that. Um, great reviews. Said it got a good base and all that. Um, I could have went and got, you know, iPods and all that type of stuff. I mean, I do have, I have the Max, I have Apple Max headphone sets, right? Oh, this is dumb, this bra thing, oh my gosh, it is so dumb. Why didn't people say that this is the worst case ever? This is the worst. It's like a bra, man. Like, like, really, you couldn't think of something better than design? But anyway, right? So I could get up to that, but I decided to do something, start off something fresh, new, just straight out the box. So let's see how it's going to hook up this Bluetooth. Now... The Bluetooth is a great way to communicate with your humane AI pen, right? It's a great way to communicate with this pen. It's really good, right? Because you don't want to, you know, it's not, you know, I will say this though about this pen. The speakers on here, let's talk about the speaker quality, audio quality, quality, sorry. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But it's here for me to hear, right? Like, like a lot of people are like, oh, I can't hear it that clear. Because it's not meant for you to hear it, it's meant for me to hear it. It's meant for the person who's wearing it to hear it. But nevertheless, people around you can still sometimes hear it, right? So with that being said, you know, you want you might want to have the headsets in. Why? Because you just want to keep yourself rather exclusive. You don't want everybody to hear the conversation. I mean, hear the response, but from the conversation to say. And you know, why not? So with that being said, let's set it up. So let's get started. So we're going to connect the Bluetooth. Right, and by the way, we're using this once again. We're using tools. I don't know how to pronounce that. Maybe you know better than me. But nevertheless, it's a non-generic brand, like I said before. Um, it is what it is. I will say though, the case is really nice. Look at that. It literally tells you the battery life. That's cool. That's really nice. So I got that dig digital display. Actually, it's better than um, the Apple Buds, to be honest with you. And it's got the little cover here when you open up. I guess for insulation, so it doesn't, you know, charge, whatever. Um, let's take that off. Um, let's take that off. Let's connect like that. So we're going to take off the little sticky, sticky thing from there. We're going to do the same thing for this one here. All right, take that off. And we're just trying to expose the contacts, as you can see underneath. These little probes, I don't know if you can see that. So we can hook it up. Boom. So... Once again, I really, I really love this case. It's designed really nice. 98% charging uh, battery life. Brother. And you can see a little display. I mean, the Apple Pros don't even do, do this. It's kind of better than Apple uh, Pros. All right? With that being said, now, I got the human, human AI pin on. You know, I really don't know how to connect this Bluetooth. I'm doing this live, guys. So forgive me for any errors. It's all being done live. But I'm gonna ask the pen how you do it, right? So let's let me ask the pen. How do you connect to Bluetooth? Bluetooth enabled. So that oh, that was it. <laughs> I just asked it how do you connect to Bluetooth. It just did it for me. Okay, that's great. So now that saves a lot of time. So now let's see. Um, let me let me do it. Let me hook it up. Let me take it out. This headset. I'm gonna put it on my ears. All right. Um, I'm right, gonna put it on. So when I asked it the question, what happened was it just went ahead and just connected for me, the Bluetooth one. 
So right now I got the head uh, buds in my ear. By the way, just in case you interested in these, it's got. By the way, I'm paying this full cash, right? It's not like I'm getting any money from it. Uh, it's similar. The design is very similar to uh, Apple Buds, you know, iBuds, right? Very similar in design, very similar in shape. Uh, it's got the nice little flashing light there. That flashing light tells me it's ready to be connected through Bluetooth. So now my Hemming AI pin is on, Bluetooth is turned on, and now I'm going to connect to it. So in order to connect to it, I'm going to have to use the laser ink so I can see uh, the selection, the Bluetooth selection. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So here we go. So right now I got the Bluetooth connectivity. It says no device found, so I'm going to connect it. All right. Um, okay, so now I'm selecting it. I'm just telling you right now what I'm doing because I'll have the camera face towards you. And now it's connecting to, and that's it. So now, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try to turn the camera. Can you see that? Yep, and there it is. It's as simple as that. That's it. One, two, three. So once again, let's go over the steps. All I did was ask the main AI pin, turn on Bluetooth, actually, actually how to do it, but nevertheless, turn on Bluetooth, it turned it on, and just searched for it, the Bluetooth device I want to connect it with my laser ink. You definitely need the laser ink to select the Bluetooth device. And that was it. <laughs> and I'm connected right now. So I'm going to ask you some questions just to make sure. Let me just change the camera now. So now, oops, sorry. Uh, it's not one of the best of connectivity oh, stands, that is. So now I'm going to, forgive me for this guy. I'm doing this live because I want to make sure you see this live. I want to, you know. Think I'm doing any funny business here, right? So now I'm connected. Look a little tilted. Yeah. So now I'm connected. I got my buds on. These feel a little more loose, I would say, than the normal I you know iPad. I mean, sorry, Apple buds feel a little more loose in my ear. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Feels a little more loose, to be honest with you, than the, than the Apple thing. But nevertheless. Let me listen to something. I'm just gonna ask a question. It's gonna, it's gonna obviously gonna hit you. Gonna, I'm, you're not gonna hear it because I got my buds on. So I'm gonna make sure it's okay. But nevertheless, when I did make the connectivity, when I did connect it, sorry, to the buds, I did hear a sound in the buds to let me know that they are connected. I like this is one thing I do love about the updates is that when something is connected, it'll definitely let you know that connection have been made, which is a really, really good thing about this. Uh, now these buds just doesn't seem to be sitting properly in my ear. I mean, they just don't seem seem a little too big or something. I don't know. All right, let me just ask some questions. Uh, you're going to know if it works or <laughs> not because you're going to hear it. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to ask it, um, you know, what's the weather going to be? Uh, um, what's the latest stock price for Ford Motors? I think that's a better question since I do own some Ford stock. What's the latest stock price for Ford Motors? So I'm hearing it. It's in my head. Set. Okay. Sounds good. So it's, it's fine in stock. Mm. It's $11.84. Not bad. Very good. Let me get some weather. Do something else. Uh, what's the weather like? So I'm asking some questions. Again, it went... Checking the weather, saying sunny, hot, 90. Wow, oh my gosh. Yo, it's. So it says no rain. Is the temperature will go up? It's going to feel like 99 degrees today. It's going to be extremely hot. I mean, you get the point. So it works very, very simple. I mean, this thing connects. It's beautiful, man. I'll tell you, the connectivity, the Bluetooth is very easy, not hard at all. It's, all I did was ask the system, connect the Bluetooth, and that was pretty much all. That was it. And it did it. Right? Um, Quick. One, two, three. Not a long thing to do. The sound quality is great. Just in case you want to know about that. It's great. I'm using these uh, headsets. I mean, they, they're nice. Uh, but they feel a little too big. I might have to return these because it just doesn't feel comfortable in the air. It feels like they're just going to fall out. Um, 
That's the only thing I don't like. And it could just be my ear size. You know, everybody's ear is a little different. For some reason, Apple have mastered getting the size pretty more accurate, I would say. I think maybe they need some type of rubber or something on this so it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. I don't know, just feel like they're going to fall out of my ear. But anyway, you get the point. Once again, process is very simple. I just demonstrate to you live, right? Uh, I basically put the main AI pin on. I asked it, Bluetooth. It turned on Bluetooth right away. You have to use your uh, ink display to select that particular Bluetooth device. And that was it. Nothing else. The sound quality is excellent. I mean, it's excellent. No no fuzziness, no static, none of that, none of that, none, none, none. It's just really, really good. So, you see it, we're gonna be we gonna be doing more here. We're gonna show you him in AI pen. Of course, we got other things we gotta talk about as well. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta talk about that 3D printers. Like what do it actually take to own a 3D printer? What's actually involved with that, right? Because what happened is a lot of time people get a 3D printer, but they just get the printer and then that is it. But if you want to make a business using a 3D printer, stick here, subscribe. This is Consumer Lab. You know what? Hermain AI Pen and me. Oh, by the way, let me just show you that I'm disconnected from Bluetooth. And I'm going to ask the same question I did before. Weather, so you can see I wasn't lying. What's the weather? So now, so now you can see I'm disconnected from the Bluetooth. I'm sorry. Okay. Sunny. Okay, so there you go. I disconnected from the. I just want to make sure I, I show you everything, right? Because you know I want to make sure everybody sees it's very clear. I, when I was connected to Bluetooth, I was connected. I put it back in the case, close the case, and the speakers come right back on. It's flawless. I'm telling you now, guys, this thing operate flawlessly. Do not let these these geeks be the decision maker for you. You need people that actually understands technology, right? And I'm not saying I'm the only one. But I'm definitely going to tell you, this is Consumer Lab. We build, we make, and we sell. Until next time, we'll talk.